Welcome inside our San Francisco studios. It's inside Pac-12 football, the digital edition. Eyes of Trophy winner Matt Liner, 12-year NFL vet and All-American wide receiver with the Trojans, Curtis Coway. Mikey, I'm with you. And guys, UCLA, they found a way to get it done against Colorado. The first college football playoff rankings were unveiled, and it's the Bruins sitting at number 23. Still in the thick of things, controlling their own destiny in that Pac-12 South. Remember, they go undefeated over the final four games, and those matchups, Oregon State, Washington State at Utah at SC. See, and they would find themselves in that title game at Levi's Stadium. Remember, they own that tiebreaker with Utah if they go and win out that game on November 21st. But I don't want to look too far ahead considering it's Oregon State on November 7th this upcoming weekend. And by the way, that matchup right here on the Pac-12 Network, 1.30 p.m. Pacific time. And Matt, you know, what's sort of the key right now with this UCLA team? Some people will focus in on their defense. Mm -hmm. Some might say just give the rock to Paul Perkins. Maybe it's a combination of both. It is a combination of both, and it does start with Paul Perkins. Last week, 12 for 118. I still think you got to get him more touches. It takes pressure off of Josh Rosen. He's their best player player and he's been their most consistent player but for UCLA it starts with their defense their defense has not been good all year long we know about the injuries it's hard to over overcome those and what they did against Colorado last week they gave up 34 first downs and the time of possession we know they were on the field a bunch in that football game Fortunately for them, when they go against an Oregon State team, Seaway, we know it's the same kind of story with this football team. There's no threat throwing the football. They're averaging 159 yards a game in the air. For UCLA, all they have to do is focus on shutting down the run, play man-to-man. -man. Ishmael Adams had a big interception last week. He's a playmaker in the back end. No, you're absolutely right because this is the strength of Oregon State is running the football. Mm -hmm. And when you look at UCLA's defense and running defense, they're last. They're dead last giving up 200 yards. Now the question is, how will they play Oregon State? Matt, will they go in there and say, look, we understand they can run the ball. We're going to pack the box and force them to throw the right. football. I think that's more uh, they, I think that's what they're going to do. Oregon State, on the other hand, are you going to try to develop the pass game? You know, and I'm not saying the season is over, but in a game like this, I would try it. I would go out there and I would have a more balanced attack than just running the football. Because at this point at 0-5, let's be real, no Pac-12 yeah. championship. So now continue to develop your to develop your offense and. Throw the football. Take some bit. shots down. Take field. some shots. A absolutely. See what you got. I mean, Seth Collins banged up. We could be able to give it a go. Nick Mitchell. I mean, this is sort of a carousel with some of these quarterbacks that we've seen the last few weeks. I think Gary Anderson's still trying to figure things yeah. out, as you had mentioned. But it'll be interesting to see how it plays out because the uh, Beavers did give Utah a pretty good run yeah. for their money. They were able to hang tough. They have not. There's no quit in this football team. Once again, UCLA and Oregon State you can watch it right here on the Pac-12 Network, 1.30 p.m. Pacific time. And for everything that's happening around the conference, all you have to do, follow us on Twitter, at Pac-12 Networks. And yes, the handle is plural.